dedicated to local news. This is 44 News at 9. First on Fox 44 News at 9, supply shortages are infringing on your Second Amendment right. Gun owners unable to reload as shops struggle to restock. The biggest headlines of the year have left shelves bare. First, COVID-19, then civil unrest means ammo and guns are nearly impossible to find. 44 News reporter Aaron Huber explains even if sales come to a screeching halt, it could be months before the shelves are restocked. This, this has been great, yeah. The guns and ammo sales have been really good. But it comes with a catch. We've run run out of a lot of our guns and ammo, so and it's really hard to get them. This is one of the last two boxes of 9mm ammunition left here at Frank Miller & Son Baton Sporting Goods Store in Owensboro. They're holding them in reserve for whomever makes their first or next gun purchase here. But no matter the caliber, there's not a lot of selection left. Here's how things looked at the shop when we first told you about the sales spike in March. Full racks and cases. Now, for both ammunition and firearms, short supply is running dry. Chris Miller, one of the shop owners, says there are multiple factors driving the Second Amendment shortage. What's happened? People bought so heavy on guns and ammo right when the pandemic first started um, that everybody sold way, way down on on everything they had on all their inventory. And then, and then the manufacturers, you know, were trying to keep building product. They just can't get caught up. And, and now, you know, with 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 all the social unrest, you know, people are a little une uneasy about that. So they're, you know, they're still trying to buy as many guns and ammo as they can. That's the case not only here in Kentucky, but in Illinois. I mean, I can't call up a retailer or a wholesaler and say, hey, send me, you know, 500 cases of 9 millimeter. They don't have it. And in Indiana. A lot of people that were first time buyers came in and said they never, ever like considered said, buying a gun before until now. And across the nation, where uncertain times also means an uncertain future for current and potential gun owners. As for when stock will start returning to normal, Chris Miller doesn't think it'll happen until after the election. In Owensboro, Aaron Huber, 44 News.